Alright, so today we're going to talk about youth sports, and it's the place where a kid can be a kid. So if you guys will introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Jason. Hey, I'm Nick. I'm Mike. Alright, so 20 years of coaching youth basketball and baseball have shown me the most athletic kids play multiple sports throughout the year. These kids make the better teammates and are more well-rounded athletes. Some kids are naturally better at one sport over the other. But their work and development of their other skills required to play multiple sports only enhances their ability to excel at their best sport. There is a new phenomenon that specialize year-round sports. Sports like baseball, softball, basketball, and soccer are being played year-round by kids as young as five and six years old. Will this teach a young boy or girl to be better at their sport? Sure it will. Parents believe the extra time will put their kids ahead and specializing in one sport year-round leads to a higher skill level. There is a downside to specializing in one sport from an early age. Studies have shown that kids who specialize in one sport are more prone to experience serious injury in their teen years. These single sport athletes experience injuries from overuse of the same muscle groups with little time to rest and recuperate. Burnout is also seen at a higher percentage in these athletes. Middle school and high school athletes show the effects of the overuse of their muscle groups in their younger years. Playing a single sport year-round prevents kids from learning other valuable lessons and developing other necessary skill sets. Single sport athletes develop skill sets specific to their sport. This will lead to an adolescent who is highly skilled at their sport but will also lead to a higher level of burnout. As parents, we shouldn't try to make our kids professionals before they make it to middle school. Does it take great talent to hit a 90 mile per hour fastball or to shoot a basketball like Steph Curry? Absolutely. But there aren't any preteens throwing 90 miles per hour and you can't sign an NBA contract until you graduate from high school. Fred Bowen's article in the National Post states, for most sports, there is no evidence that intense training and specialization before the age of 13 or 14 are necessary to achieve elite status. Kids receive their middle school and high school years. They reach their middle school and high school years, the years that they have been preparing their whole childhood for, and simply don't want to face the daily commitment required to excel at their sport. Karen Collada posted an article in the Chicago, in the Chicago Tribune and she explains, Playing one sport for 12 months a year means a young athlete is either destined to have great technique or they will just break down. As these athletes approach middle school and high school, they begin to experience overuse injuries such as stress fractures, tendonitis, and knee damage. A study by the Loyola University of Chicago found that kids who specialize in one sport were 70 to 90 percent more likely to be injured than multi-sport athletes. So as we can see here on the screen, a study done in 2017 by the NBA shows uh, single sport athletes compared to multi sport athletes and their injury rates. The single sport athletes were injured a total of 116 times, while the multi sport athletes were injured a total of 10 times. The Journal of Athletic Training in 2015 stated, year-round specialization, single sport participation, potentially, could lead to defect, defects in functional movement patterns, which may predispose athletes to injury by developing sport-specific strength and flexibility imbalances. Collada included in her article a story about a childhood prodigy in soccer. Her doctor, Bush Joseph, was scheduled to perform a six surgery, three per knee, on a 16-year-old soccer player. Joseph said he has strongly advised the girl's parents to pull her out of competitive soccer. These athletes are more likely to quit their sport, and furthermore, they are less likely to be physically active as adults. The daily grind of practice, and pra practice after practice, and training after training carries an effect on their want to be active into adulthood. 224 of the 256 draft picks in the 2016 NFL Draft were multi-sport athletes in high school. 
Many college athletes played multiple sports when they were younger. A study in the American Society of Sports Medicine found that 88% of college athletes played more than one sport when they were kids. As Scalotta explained, sports are for kids to have fun, learn teamwork, and develop a habit of ex exercising. These often are lost in the increasingly competitive world of amateur athletics. Parents, as parents, we need to allow our kids to experiment, grow, and try many different sports. So in conclusion, specialization is not required to make your child the next Michael Jordan or Babe Ruth. Specializing in a single sport can potentially harm your kids more than help them. This will cause your adolescent to be highly skilled at their sport, but may also lead to burnout. And as your child reaches middle school and high school, they will begin to show the effects of overuse of specific muscle groups in younger years. And playing a single sport year-round prevents your kids from learning other valuable lessons and skill sets. Allow your kids to enjoy their childhood and experience different sports throughout. Your child does not need to be a professional before they make it through, the, through high school. Allow your kid to be a kid. That's it.